Wolfsbury 1 and welcome back to another video. In this video, I want to go over four really cool visual effects for Final Cut Pro 10. So these are just re four really cool effects that you can implement into your own video and hopefully you know you one of these effects you find cool or maybe you don't find any of these effects cool. But I just want to break down a couple really cool effects that I personally learned and I want to share with you some really cool um, techniques to use in your next you know, music video, promo video, whatever type of video um, you plan on um, editing. The first thing I want to do is I'll go over this really cool technique called speed ramping. Another little, little um, pointer to, you know, th or thing to point out as I use 30 frames per second for this project. If you're doing a sports video, you probably want to pick either 30 frames per second um, or 24 frames um, per second. I just want to you know, point that out. Um, just in case you're wondering, you know, what frame rate should you do uh, sports videos, usually 24 or 30. So the first technique is speed ramping. So you can see right here, I'll play it right here. The, the, the beginning and the end of each clip speeds up. So it creates this really cool fast paced um, effect and also kind of creates this really cool trippy illusion because one part is going 800% speed and one part is going 100% speed. So it actually looks like the, the middle part is kind of slow motion because it's going so fast and it creates this really cool um, trippy illusion. So I'm just going to go ahead and select all these, click Command R, so you can see right here. Now this video is going to be a breakdown, not a step-by-step -step tutorial, because that would take, you know, it would take like an hour to do a step-by-step -step tutorial of all these effects. This will be more of a breakdown, so this video is going to be more for um, intermediate um, editors. So as you can see right here, I'll just break down how I made um, every single technique. So basically, I set the duration of each one of these clips to 130, so I set the duration to 130, and what I did was I just sped up the first and last 10 to 15 frames. I did 15 and I did 10 in some case, so I would stick between 10 and 15 frames. I know you in the, in in order to blade it, or to you know split up into three sections, so 800, 100, and 800. What you want to do is you want to just select the clip, and you want to click on Shift um, B to basically blade the speed right there. And then, as you can see right here, all I did was right here, I sped this one up right here to eight times speed. So you can see the speed is at 800%. That's basically what I did. Now you could also add a flash transition in between the two clips. Um, that's just you know something you can do just to help make the transition you know. Look a little bit cooler and also and just you know a couple little tips and tricks too in order to create this transition you want a fast moving subject or fast moving camera movement if you just have a like, 10 shots of just a, a person walking really slowly it's probably not going to look cool so you want like, fast moving action shots or fast moving um, camera shots or the effect probably isn't going to look um, as cool the next effect I want to go over is this really cool scribble effect um, right here. And if you're wondering, does this require any plugins to create this really cool scribble effect? Um, no, it does not. It actually takes no plugins. So what I did right here was I went to the end of the frame right here. So as you can see right here, I went to the end frame, the last frame of this clip, and I basically took a freeze frame or I took a screenshot of the last um, frame right there. And then what I did was I just um, you know exported the frame, and then I just airdropped that photo um, over to my iPhone. Now you can use AirDrop, Google Drive, you know, WeTransfer, whatever you use. I just use AirDrop just because this is just a tutorial, but you want to transfer for that screenshot over um, to your phone. And then basically what you're doing is, I'll, I'll scroll down right here, all you're doing right here is you're going to the Notes app um, on your iPhone, and you're basically, you basically see right here, so I can see right here, see it's, it's like individual scribbles right here. So you're basically just taking the Notes app, and all you're doing right here is you're basically just drawing around. So you can see right here, here are individual um, frames right here. So it's just made up of um, individual frames, and you just do this on your Apple notes app you just use like the, the, the drawing tool and you, you draw a section save that frame draw another section so you're basically just going frame by frame by frame and that's pretty much what it is right there and then all you want to do is you want to airdrop that photo or airdrop all these photos back to your um, you know computer uh, again you can use any uh, uh, file sharing service um, that you want I just to chose to use airdrop because it's quicker and easier just remember, AirDrop is not, the quality is not as good um, by using AirDrop, so pay, maybe pick a different file sharing. That's just what I do. So if you want it to be quick and easy, uh, just use AirDrop. Now if I open up the compound clip right here, each one of these frames is set to two, or, or as you can see right here, these are just set to two right here, and the last one is set for one second, because I want to hold the last frame right there. So you can see right here, all it is right here, so one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. It's basically just individual frames um, right there, and then you want to just create it all into a compound clip. I keyframe the scale right here, so you can see right here, 
here. I went to the beginning right here. I keyframe the scale all the way um, right here. And the scale should be a 120. So you can see right here, all I did was just a keyframe the scale right here, added some motion blur, and added a flash transition just to kind of spice up um, this really cool transition. The next effect I want to go over right here is this really cool character intro um, effect. Now if you're wondering if I came up, came up with this myself, not necessarily. I basically got the inspiration from the, uh, Star Wars Theories video. He had a similar idea, but I want to basically go and kind of you know perfect it and make it look um, a little bit better, you know, in my personal um, opinion. So as you can see right here, each one of these frames, again, I'm just going to break it down because it would take a very long time um, to redo it. So as you can see right here, each one of these frames is set to two seconds. Seconds. So that's just the duration. So if you're wanting the duration, each one of these um, images is set to two seconds. Now, all I did was right here, if I click on uh, Lamar Jackson right here, I just used a draw mask to cut out the subject um, right there. So, as simple as that, just using a draw mask. And then what I did was right here, I moved the position down to negative 200. Let's see right here what the, I moved the position um, down to right here. So, select it right here. And now, if I scroll down, I moved the position down to 100 or negative. 140 so I would probably move the y-axis down to about 150 to 200 percent because when you're zooming in you don't want the person's head uh, to be cut off also I move the x-axis because as you can see right here I do the show horizon I want one to be on one side and the other to be on the other side um, right there and I don't want a whole bunch of overlapping um, that's just you know what I chose uh, right there now also you can see right here I just keyframe the scale um, right here so I go to like the end right here click on the photo um, go over to the effects panel right here as you can see right here just uh, keyframe the scale um, right there all I did was right there I basically just keyframe the scale uh, so if I play it right here I'll see if this works all I did was right here as you can see right here I just keyframe the scale right there and then I keyframe the scale um, to 150 percent I also added this really cool um, ink transition right here so you can see right here now this uh, transition you do have to pay for but you can probably use the luma fade um, or you could use a fade transition so as you can see right here I'll go over to the transitions right here scroll down and this is from the graphics pack video um, that I made so let's see if I can find an ink transition. Uh, I use ink transition 17. So I click on this right here. I use ink transition 17. Again, you can use any transition you want. I just decided to use um, an ink transition. And basically what I did was I, I just used it for the first 10 frames and the last 10 frames um, right there. Now this is my personal preference. Basically what I did was I, I waited 30 frames. If I go like this, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. So basically I waited 30 frames um, for the next photo to come in. However, as you can see for the rest of them, I just line them up. So as soon as it fades in, it starts fading in as soon as it starts fading out. That's basically uh, what I did um, right there. As you can see right here, I also added some motion blur right here, and then I just used a background. You can use any background um, that you want. I also use a smoke overlay. I'll put the link down in the description below. This smoke overlay is from Cinepax, and then I just changed the blend mode to screen. I use smoke um, 24, just to kind of create some really cool kind of particles or texture uh, to the video. The next effect I want to go over right here is this really cool repeating um, freeze frame effect. Um, right here, so I think it's a really cool um, effect right there. Now, basically, what you're just doing right here again is just I'll just do a breakdown. You're just you know, creating you know generic freeze frames, or just freeze the first frame of the second clip right here, and then you know use a draw mask um, to cut out the subject. I basically just set the duration right here um, to 20 frames right here, so the bottom one is set to 20 frames. Again, use a draw mask to cut out the subject, and then what you're going to do right here, I'll zoom all the way out to 50%, enable the transparency grid. And as you can see right here, I just moved um, Kyler Murray out of frame um, right there. So to be exact, um, uh, 1,524 pixels. I basically just moved him off the screen. Then I created four copies and offset it by four frames. So 20, 16, 12, 8, and then four um right there and then what i did next was a base just keyframe the position right here so you can see right here it's keyframed right here now all of these start at the exact same position they're all they're all starting at 1524 pixels and then as you can see right here they're all ending at zero right here so basically keyframing it right here so if i play this one right here so i can play it right here 
it's being keyframed all the way down to zero. So they're both starting, all of them are starting at the exact position and they're all ending at the exact position. The only difference is the duration. So this is taking 20 frames to get to zero. This one's taking 12 frames to get to zero. So it creates this really cool repeating effect right there. And then obviously I don't have any motion blur right here, but you can also add some motion blur um, if you want. Anyways, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you found it helpful and informative. If you're new to this channel, I upload Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials every day at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So if you enjoy these types of videos, definitely consider hitting that subscribe button. I also have a Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial playlist with over 260 Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials. So if you enjoy these types of videos, by all means, go ahead and check out that playlist. I have tons of Final Cut Pro um, 10 tutorials in that playlist. Anyways, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.